So far in this course, we have considered software architectures. Today, I would like to get into one particular kind of software architecture, the architecture for distributed systems. And all this means that there's multiple com computers involved in providing whatever uh, application technology the system is supposed to. Moreover, we will consider heterogeneous distributed systems, systems in which the different computers are of different kinds and provide different capabilities. An example of this is a typical client-server uh, system. For example, insurance agents go out into the field, they come to your house, they talk to you about various insurance options, and they have their laptops. The laptops are connected to some uh, server machine that understands the different forms you have to fill out and the, uh, and the rates involved in those, um, in those particular uh, contracts. And uh, ultimately, if you sign up, for a particular uh, policy, then uh, the uh, business logic connects to a database that stores the information about you and your particular uh, policy arrangements. In that particular situation, there was a, uh, a database server machine. There was a web server uh, that uh, was responsible for initiating and computing business logic. And there were various web browsers running on uh, laptop machines, one for each agent. We'd like to look a little bit more in how these particular kinds of systems are architected. 